What's going on? We got something pretty cool today. I'm pretty excited about. Um, this is the Height CNVS Intense Playmat. You might be thinking, great, another RGB desk mat, just what everybody needs. But stay tuned, because this one's a little bit different, and I'm pretty excited about it. This is the first entry into a new series of products coming out by Height that I've got a bit of a sneak peek on. This mat actually comes out April 27th, I believe. So we're some of the first people to get our hands on it, first look kind of thing. Um, it also runs off their Nexus software, which seems like it's going to be decent. It's very similar to every other brand, um, like Corsair, Lian Lee, all their kind of software that monitors your system specs and runs all their RGB lighting. Same kind of thing. Height is calling this QRGB. Don't know why, but okay. Kind of like ARGB. Um, so when this comes out, it's going to be about 120 bucks. They're on pre-order right now. If you want to get your hands on one right when they drop, um, it comes with the the desk mat, obviously, um, a quick start guide, and then all the little cables and that kind of stuff you need. Comparing it to some other mats, um, this one is quite. It feels quite a bit thicker than others. Um, it's not nearly as pliable. You can kind of tell here. Um, it's got a really nice rubber backing on it and it's about five millimeters thick. You also, I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, but the actual RGB part, rather than being a plastic circular fiber optic kind of thing is actually flat, a flat piece of plastic that the light shines through comparing here's a razors. Mouse pad, this is the Goliathus Extended. You can see it's much floppier than this one. So these are very thick and sturdy feeling. They are a little bit heavy. The cool thing about these is that it's not just an RGB desk mat. It actually screen mirrors your desktop or your monitor. So if you're playing, say, at a battlefield, Call of Duty or something, and it's dark, and then there's a big explosion, the explosion spans over the mat. So it screen mirrors anything that's happening on your screen. I'll show you a little snippet of that now. It's pretty cool. Um, check it out. Let me know what you think, and we'll get back to the get a closer look at this in just a second. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty neat stuff. And like I said before, this is going to be the first entry into a whole line of products that will use this same technology to screen mirror. Beyond the screen mirror, they also have a bunch of other settings and things you can do with it in the Nexus app, which I'll show you now. Um, there's stuff to make it sync to music and all that kind of good stuff. So here's the actual Nexus interface for the mat in particular. You can see playback, you've got media, which you can upload custom videos or animations or stuff like that for the colors to go off of. It's also got static, which is a static color, go figure. That way you can match you know, your theme on your desktop or whatever you wanna do. Then you've got animate, which has a absolute ton of different animation settings, all of which you can kind of customize you can change the colors of there's a ton of different options you can set your own color combinations 
Um, you can then adjust the hue, saturation, color filters, stuff like that. So quite a bit of customization as far as that goes. And then of course you've got the screen mirror, which you also have some options, standard, vivid, grayscale, all that kind of stuff. And this, you can choose which monitor you want it to go off of. Audio visual visualization, I can't say that word right now for whatever reason. Uh, <laughs> this is a black screen because I didn't have any audio playing. There was no music or anything going while I was recording this screen. So there's that. And then um, under configuration, you can set custom um, brightness and speed using the graphs you see down there. And then RGB tester, I believe, is just to make sure that the RGB is calibrated and working correctly. And then, of course, over on the right, you can see where they'll add other peripherals that will all be able to use the same software. One thing I did notice while I was making this video in Adobe Premiere Pro is that the height API, the software in Task Manager, is using an absolute ton of memory. I've got 48 gigs of memory in my computer, and this was at the top, as you can see there. So that's something I think they're probably going to have to address. But as this is not released yet, they've got plenty of time to tweak it, so we'll see what they do with it. Let me know what you think of this in the comments down below. Is this something you'd be interested in? Do you think it's cool? Do you think it's bunk? What do you think? The possibilities I think are pretty cool and I'm looking forward to seeing what else they come out with. So far, Height has been absolutely nailing it as far as I'm concerned with the products that came out with. Everybody knows the Y60 case uh, was one of the more popular cases of last year and I think probably going into this year as well. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.